Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm fine, I think. What's up? Pretty busy day. I imagine, but it's Friday. Yeah, finally Friday. <laughs> Any plans not, for the weekend? Not a lot of Friday. Uh, it's late, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, the good thing is that, um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, uh, the weather forecast said that the weather will be great during the weekend. I hope so. The last two days, the weather was so hot here and it's hiking the. I don't know if you say it, the uh, exasperant or. Desperating? <laughs> yeah, desperating. <laughs> it is. I know, I know. So, but yeah, I think that it will be raining during this weekend. So guys, please be careful. I know that some cities are a little bit more dangerous than others according to the weather, you know. But if you can rest, do it. <laughs> All right. And you guys, the rest of you, do you have any plans for the weekend? Hello, good evening. Hello, how are you? Um now I better, but uh today. It's it's raining a lot. I know. For that reason, for that reason, I how do you say memo? <laughs> I got wet. I got wet. Oh my gosh! Yes. So I'm sorry to hear that. And the plan for to the weekend for the weekend is to study English a lot because I need to improve my English. That's great. Yes. That sounds like a good plan. Very good. Yes. Excellent. So guys, yeah, try. I know that during the weekend, some of you work. I know that during the weekend you want to rest, but try to take at least 10 minutes, right? In order to practice a little bit. So that's excellent. Now I was reading a WhatsApp's group and I could see that you have some issues with some of the exercises. Don't worry, we are going to verify it here. I just want to, most of your classmates are here in order to explain it, because I know that maybe some others can have the same doubt, okay? So we are going to wait for them. Now, I wonder where they are. <laughs> I think that the weather can be, affect, can be uh, affecting the areas, the connection, the lights, especially in some cities. So again, guys, please be careful, all right? If you don't need to go out, I mean, don't do it, okay? It's better to stay at home. I was checking in some series, um, you know, that we're living in Salvador, right? And it's if it is raining, the streets automatically get uh, flooded. So be careful with that, please. Now, who else? Welcome, welcome. I can see Osman already. Hello, Osman. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? How are you? I'm, I'm fine. Right. Welcome okay. to the class. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so it's much. Friday. It's Friday. Do you have any plans for the weekend? <laughs> um, for the moment, I think I'm going to do the design. In the morning, I'm going to Yeva. Carry? carry, carry my son to school. Oh, take. In that case, it's take, 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 take my son to the yes. school. Yes, they are studying English too. That's good. <laughs> on Saturday, yes, on Saturday. Uh, okay, that's I take to, to, to son. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then around 12, 12 million? At noon? At noon? It is not necessary to say 12. You can say just at noon. Uh, mediodía. Uh -huh. At noon, uh, they finish uh, the they class and, and come back at home. Uh, so basically, they study uh, all the morning. 
yes, all the morning. Oh. Uh, I think my my son, uh, older, uh, knows knows more than me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's In very which, young. <laughs> which level is he? Uh, uh, he almost uh, middle, middle. I think middle. 11 11 ah, so it's good but remember yes. guys that for um teenagers and kids yes. learning the language is easier than for yes. adults <laughs> yes yes teacher yeah. but uh, or, mm, for the moment uh, no no more plans sounds good well the good thing is that you can practice with him you can talk yes to him. yes but but he 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 speak with me, but uh, he uh, sometimes he don't understand me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> because because he can more than me. Ah, okay, okay. But even though, continue trying, continue yes, trying. Yes, <laughs> Very yes. Very good. Yes. Excellent. All right, that's great. So everybody, if you have someone you can practice with, I mean, do it. All right. I know that some of you maybe don't have someone else you can practice with. And here in the class is the only moment that you can talk. So if you have someone else, try. Take advantage about it. All right. Well, let's start. I can see a few people today. Oh, my goodness. But, well, I hope that your classmate can connect soon. Again, I hope that the weather doesn't affect the connection either. So we can have the class in a very quiet way. Do you remember what was the topic that we studied yesterday? Oops. Uh -huh. Something about questions. <laughs> okay, I like that. Something about question. Okay, um, a little bit more specific. <laughs> I remember uh, about uh, when, when I to a question, a nerdy, nerdy question, uh, the answer is positive question, mm -hmm. more or less. <laughs> okay, yeah, they got the idea. Uh-huh, someone else? It was a uh, marketing digital. Very what? good, we'll review it, yes. Now, mm. what was the specific topic, anyone? Extra point for the one who remembers it. But without looking at your notebooks. <laughs> ah, come on. Uh huh. Last questions. What's the last topic? Which one? Can you repeat? Staff uh, questions. Ah, very good. Tag questions or question tags. And I think that that's just specifically um, the exercises with some of you had issues. I'm going to show you guys the exercise. Um, if I'm not wrong, it was this one, the 3.7. Yes? Yes, that's what. Okay. Yes. Um, the problem here, according to what the answers that I was checking on the platform and the ones that you sent on WhatsApp groups, remember that the platform has a very specific set answer. Right. So if only one letter, it doesn't matter. Well, the answer will be incorrect. So in this case, look, uh, let me try to do it bigger. The number one says you don't want to go on holiday. So the third question is, don't, don't you? Just... In some cases, you had a mistake because you are adding the question mark. I mean, it's correct, but if you see the sentence, the question mark is already here, okay? Uh, according to some screenshot that some of you sent me, you were adding a point. But in this case, it's not necessary because again, you are ending with the question mark. And the question mark is already here, so you don't need to add it. So basically, you just have to write only the last part of the question tag, okay? So it is like, do you want to go on holiday? Don't you? Then it says, Charles will help us. 
In this case, we are talking about different grammar tenses. If you remember yesterday, we practiced only in simple past. So we are going to continue practicing this topic in different grammar tenses. In this case, what is the negative form of the future? Want. Want. Exactly. So the rule is the same. We are going to say, want he. Okay. And then, Mary has a little lamb, simple present. What is the negative? Doesn't she? Exactly. Then we have simple past. And that is what we are going to practice today. So she wasn't surprised. What is the affirmative form? Was she? Mm -hmm. Was she? Just was she. And then it didn't rain. Look. Did it. Did it. Okay. It's rain. It's rain. <laughs> Um, yeah. Well, it's supposed that it says it rain, uh, but it says like it didn't aim, but yeah, I, I get confused in that because I think <laughs> didn't aim. I think that he was miss missing, but yeah. maybe it it was rain. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, I know. I apologize for those little details, right? Unfortunately, that is something that I cannot modify. I'm sorry. But yeah, so in this case, guys, during this exercise, uh, remember, we are in the 3.7. Just remember, don't add the question mark, okay? It is not necessary because the question mark is already here, okay? Um, don't add the last point either because, again, it is not necessary. You just have to write exactly only the question time. Got it? Yes. Any questions so far about this exercise? Okay, pretty good. So try to do it, please. Try to advance on the platform. Now let's start with today's class. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Excellent. So today is September 4th. First, everybody, we are starting a new month. What do we celebrate in this month? Independence Day. Independence Day. Day. Independence Day. Do you Independence have plans? Day. How do you celebrate Independence Day, everyone? Do you do something interesting, something special? Resting. <laughs> Resting a lot. <laughs> okay. What else? Uh-huh. What else? What else? Nothing else? <laughs> All right. Um, how about the donuts? Do you mm. already ate donuts? Not yet. Because <laughs> uh, the line is too it's bigger than other other days, especially <laughs> in the first week. I imagine that. Yeah, maybe you have to wait some couple of weeks. Pretty good. Yeah. All right. So everybody, remember, we are working in the unit number three. Okay. And this is the topic that we are going to study today. Discuss different job profiles required in the digital marketing. Okay. And this is our class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading it. Yes, go ahead. That's objective. At the at the end of the class, participants will learn vocabulary, learn learn related to job, related to job profiles required in digital marketing. Thank you. So we are going to divide the class in two parts. The first one is related to specifically with this class objective, and the second one, if we still have time, we are going to practice. Again, the tag questions in order that you don't forget them, okay? Now let's start. Uh, I have a couple of questions for you. I have here, guys, different job positions. Have you ever heard about this? For example, yeah. data analysis, analyst, I'm sorry. Have you ever heard about it? Yes. What do you, what do you think, guys? 
a data analyst. What do they do? They analyze data. <laughs> That's uh -huh. what they do. <laughs> do you know someone who yes. performs this job? Yes, some Ooh. friends. Oh, really? Yes. Do they like their job? Mm, I think <laughs> I think it's all it's like all of us we like because the money. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a good point. Do you think is it a stressing job? Yes, yes, teacher. yes, a lot. Yeah, I imagine that. Would you like to be a data analyst? No. <laughs> <laughs> in my in my job, teacher, uh, we have a. Uh, a co-worker is uh -huh. uh, is a that an that analyst 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 analyst. Uh, he he taking information, create a dashboard, mm -hmm. also uh, analyst analyst analysis. How do you say, teacher? Analyze Anal analyze uh, all information about mm -hmm. about uh, the process. Yeah, imagine the amount of information that they work with. <laughs> I think that it is a kind of a stressing job. <laughs> yes, because we we ask ask him a lot of information. Lot. I imagine, yeah. So, but <laughs> as your classmate said, right? Maybe they like it, and yes. maybe yes. the salary is good. Yeah. Now, content manager. What do you think, guys? What do they do? Mm, they um, schedule the content that you, the company will share on the social network. That's mm -hmm. what I know. <laughs> that's <laughs> okay. what I know. And, and that's why they do in my last job. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sounds good. And you guys, do you know someone who works as a content manager? No? How about a web designer? I am a web designer. <laughs> Sounds good. Do you like your job? Yes. It's stress stressful sometimes <laughs> because the clients sometimes want to change uh, little details that doesn't have too much importance for the web designer, but for the client is too, too, too important. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, I imagine that. How about you guys? Do you know someone or are you a web designer? Yes? No? All right. How about a chief digital officer? What do they do? What do you think? What does chief digital officer do? What do you think? I think they... They build the strategies for the company to uh, use digital marketing or or to migrate to digital uh, areas. I don't know. <laughs> okay, could be, could be. Anyone else, guys? What do you think? Do you know anyone with this job position? Not really. Not really. What about a web manager? What do you think? What is the difference between a web designer and a web manager? The web manager um, uh, administrate the website, uh -huh. um, share content, post uh, uh, articles or, or, or update the product information. They do things like that and the web designer creates the web page <laughs> basically <laughs> makes sense so what do you think which one could be like more stressing or more difficult the web designer or the web manager mm. or both uh -huh. everyone what do you think for the amount of information uh, I go for web web manager. <laughs> that maybe they have to change or to update. <laughs> yeah, I imagine. And the last one: Have you ever heard about community manager? Uh 
Uh -huh. Does your mm. company have a community manager? Yes. Yes? Yes, yeah, she suggests us tips about how to improve the organic um, position of her company in the social networks. That's what I person personally know that they do. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How about you guys? The rest of you, does your company have a community manager? I think so. But you don't know it. I think so she's like more a uh, marketing manager or something like that, but I don't I don't really know if he do some activities for community managers usually do. Mm, okay. So that is what we are going to know today. We are going to learn what's the activities or what's the meaning for these job positions. Okay. But before that, guys. I'm going to check attendance. I think that we have more people already. So when you listen to your names, please say present. Um, let's see. Amanda Zamora Miranda. Ana Lorena Lovato. Boris Alexander Cortez. Carlos Alberto Domínguez. Carlos Ernesto Hernández. Carlos Mauricio Menjivar. Edwin Antonio Quinteros. Elías Neftalí Martínez. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Thank you. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez. Jose Salvador Bernal. Present, teacher. Thank you. <laughs> now Salvador sounds younger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Kevin Alexander Perez. Present. Thank you. Kevin Alfredo Lucero. Uh, Maria Jose Siguenza. Nelson Alberto Peraza. Present. Thank you. Oscar Alexis Lara. Thank you. Osman Enrique Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Pamela Carolina Molina. Present. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna. Ricardo Ernesto Perez. Cifrido Ernesto Gomez. Present teacher, um, also, oh, Ricardo, I think he has an outage. I don't know if he is present in class. Oh, yes, that's true, that's true. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for reminding me. Um, let's see, Wilber Alberto Perez. And Andrea Jamilet Mendoza. Present. Pretty good. All right, so let's continue, guys. We are going to continue analyzing this vocabulary. Hello. Teacher, sorry, my name now Hosman. Oh, Hosman. Let me check. Let me check. Yeah. Okay, Hosman Atilio. I already checked your attendance. Thank you. Pretty good. Thanks. All right. Very good. All right. So we were talking about different jobs positions. So let's see the vocabulary. Can everybody see the presentation? Yes? Yes. All right. Yes, so, here we got the vocabulary and I have here some descriptions. I just want you guys to match these jobs with the correct description. So for example, the description number one says, an individual who builds, grows, and manages online communities. So according to that description, hmm, what do you think is the job? Community manager. Community manager. Okay. Do you agree, everybody? Um, maybe web manager. A web manager. Okay. And the rest of you, what do you think? Community. Community manager. 
community yes, because, manager. Uh, web designers develop. Okay. Build. <laughs> well, if you think that is community manager, you have to write it here. Okay, I will give you three minutes, everybody, to complete the exercise. You have to match the jobs with the correct description. Okay, three minutes, everybody do it, and we are going to verify if your answers are correct or not. Okay, I will be asking individually, so please, everybody, complete the exercise. Read carefully, try to identify the keywords. Okay, go ahead. Read carefully, please. Try to get the keywords. Two more minutes. You ready or not yet? Not yet. Okay. I will give you more time. Read carefully, please.
All right, everybody. Do you have the first answer in the number one? Yes. Uh huh. What is it? Community manager. Everybody, do you agree? I agree. I Are agree. you sure? Yes, totally agree. With your life? Yes. yes. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yes, that's the one. Pretty good job. Now let me see. I will be asking individually. Let me pick someone. To Cifrido. Cifrido, can you read the number two, please? His job is mainly related to the styling and layout of page with content, including text and images. All I right. think he's a web designer. Web designer, everybody, what do you think? Do you agree with him or do you have another idea? I agree. 100%. I agree. With your life? Yes. In this case, no. No with your life? <laughs> Pass. <laughs> but that's the one. It's a web designer. <laughs> Very good job. Okay, let's see. Sufrido, pick one of your classmates, please. Um, Nelson. Nelson, go ahead. Tell us the number three. Uh, this person collects, process, and performs statistical analysis of data. Hmm. And data analyst. Okay. Data analyst. Yeah. Everybody, what do you think? Yeah, it is correct. I agree. I agree with yeah, with, with my life. <laughs> with your laugh. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes, yeah, that's the one. Pretty good, pretty good. And some of you are like, <laughs> let's see. Nelson, pick one of your classmates, please. Pamela. All right, Pamela, can you read the next one, please? Number four. Number four is someone who supervises the content presented on websites and blogs um i think it's a content manager all right content manager everybody what do you think i agree are you sure yes yeah with your life yes totally right don't be afraid about it <laughs> and the rest of you guys yes or do you have any other idea? I agree. Okay. Yes, that's the one. Pretty good job. Pamela, pick some point. extra points. Absolutely. <laughs> um, Oscar. Thank you. Oscar, can you read the number five, please? Number five. An individual who helps a company grow by converting traditional businesses to digital ones. Mm, what is that? I don't know, but by Descarte, I think is <laughs> chief digital officer. Chief digital officer. And you guys, do you agree with him? Sure. Yeah, I agree with him. Yes? yes. For me, yes. 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 Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> that is the one. Good. And the last one. Volunteer for reading. The last one, please. A person in charge of developing, managing, and maintaining websites. It's a web manager. Do you agree, everyone? Well, basically, in that case, we don't have any other option, right? So according to these descriptions, everybody, which job would you like to have if you had to pick one of these ones which one catches your attention which one you see like more interesting more it's like interesting. yours mm -hmm. what do you think if you had to work in one of these areas which one would you like to work with Okay, I can see some of you say number three. Hmm, a data analyst. Sounds good. Yeah, it's number three. Number three, too? Okay. Yeah. Why? 
Um, I I know about this uh, job, mm -hmm. and it's interesting. I know some tools for for develop in this area. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. interesting. Very good. Sounds good. And you, everyone? I think it's funny using Power BI all the time. Okay. <laughs> you can make it cool dashboards, but um, if you don't have the knowledge to interpret interpret the data, you will have a good dashboard, but not good decisions. <laughs> Definitely. So I think that all of these jobs has some advantages, but as always, right? They also have some difficult aspects too. Uh huh. Anyone else? I prefer to stay uh, as a web designer. <laughs> <laughs> so that's your favorite now. Would you like yes. to change? Yes. What? Would you like to change? No. <laughs> no, I, I, I was in another area of uh, technology in my last job, so I prefer this, this, this kind of job. job. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Look, it, um, I can read the chat says we can forecast about behaviors. Okay. Yeah. He's talking about data analysts. Ah, the data analysts. That's it. What, that's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> they do it. Yes, pretty good. Now, we have two now, uh, in this case, we have two job positions that are pretty similar, right? We have the web designer and the content manager. So what do you think? According to the definition that we just read, what's the difference between them? Web designer, a content manager. What's the difference? Uh-huh. <laughs> um, the, the web designer uh, uh, designs the website and the layouts, uh, the images, um, the proportions, things like that. But the content manager, uh, he provides the data that it be put on the maybe on the website or in the social networks. Okay, all right. Anyone else? What do you think? Do you agree with him, or do you have any other idea? Yes, I agree. And also, I think the web designer is the person in charge to make the website beautiful, and the content manager is the person in charge to make the website a good website publishing uh, good content. Mm, very good. So uh, its name says, right? One is the designer, the other one is what you can find there. Pretty good. Now look at this one. Um, I will show you different statements, okay? Imagine guys that I want to hire a web designer. I need a web designer in my company. So, mm, what do you think? Which of these aspects does this person need to know? <laughs> what do you think? Mm, <laughs> basic HTML. Oh, Imagine that we want to hire Kevin because he says that he's a web designer. So I, I, I will not hire me if I say that <laughs> I know basic HTML, but it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what is the first requirement? You have to write the letter A next to the require. For example, basic HTML, do you think that that's important for a web designer or for a content manager? Yes, a web designer. Everybody, do you agree? Yes. Yeah. I put Okay, if you think that is a required to hire a website designer, you write the letter A. If you think like, mm, no, I think that is the letter B, okay, it's a required for the content manager, you can write the letter B here. 
Okay. Again, I will give you two minutes. Analyze the requirements. Which of these ones are the requirements for a web designer? And which one is for the content manager? Go ahead. Two minutes. Read carefully, read carefully. Imagine that you want to hire a web designer. Which of these requirements do they need to have? Imagine that you want to hire a content manager. Okay, which characteristic does this person need to have? One more minute. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Thank you. I I I I am driving for for a moment. Oh, okay, Boris. Be careful, please. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, be careful, guys. If you are driving, I know the weather is crazy, so be careful, please. Okay, you ready? Yes. Yes, everybody? So if we are talking about basic HTML, is that for a web designer or for a content manager? Web designer. Definitely. Everyone, do you agree? Yeah. Yes? Yes. Okay, let me ask you, is it important HTML for a web designer? Yes. How much? It's like the yeah. air. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's, it's like the air. If ah. you don't know HTML, you can you cannot design a website. So it's the, like um maybe you it's can. like the bones it's like the bones and the design is the um the skin or the, the color of this or the skin <laughs> or things like that so but that's in think... the past because there's there's a lot of web page that make another web page like weeks or mm, yeah but good. they even it's no, not I, I don't necessary. care this, this is a class of english so <laughs> I, I don't okay. want to be but, to, okay, to be <laughs> Listen, my um, point, listen, my point is for a web designer, it is necessary to know only the basic or do you need to know uh, a little bit more no, advanced? Level? More advanced. Yes. More ah, of that, more. That's basic just is so for the content manager. Exactly. So in this case, this one is more for a content manager. Do you think that the content managers need to have a very advanced knowledge about HTML? No. no. Not necessarily, but do you think that at least the basic? Yes. Yes, they need it, right? They are working with a website. So at least the basics, 
it is necessary. So this is more for a content manager, okay? Because for the web designer, absolutely, as your classmate said, this is like the air. <laughs> this is what they do every single day. So they don't need the basic. They need it more than that, okay? How about the next one? Um, web page scripting. Hmm. This is designers. more for web designers. Yes, do you agree, everybody? Yes? Well, definitely, right? Definitely. How about updating websites? Um, updating websites. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's web designer. Web updating designer? doesn't sound like something that a content manager does. So. Okay. And the rest of you guys? Web designer. Web designer. Web designer too? And yes, that's what they do. Now, remember, we are talking about the requirements, okay? Some of the characteristics that they need to have. I'm not saying that it's like 100% an obligation. Remember that we have all kinds of different job positions, so, but it's just like in a general idea. Then, knowledge of SEO. Do you remember, guys? We already checked this um, stands for. Do you remember what this no, stands for is? Yes, it's about uh, positioning the website on the browse, on the search engines. Mm -hmm. And what does SEO stand for? Um, that's, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I always forget. <laughs> Anyone else? Do you remember? Optimization is the O. <laughs> yes. Search engine optimization. That, that, that is, is the one. Yes. So if we're talking about it, is this more for a web designer or is it more for a content manager? Maybe content, content manager. manager. Yes, mm -hmm. that is the one. This is more for like the content manager. Okay, excellent writing skills in English. Mm -hmm. both. Con content <laughs> manager. <laughs> okay, some of you say both. Some of you say content <laughs> manager and the rest of you? It's content manager, but I'm joking because if you don't know English, it's more difficult for you to be a web designer because yeah. everything is in English. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But yeah, right. This is more like content manager. How about the next one? Create engaging content. B. <laughs> B, everybody, what do you think? Everybody. Yes. B. B. Are you sure? Could be. With your life. I think that I will assign extra homework for each mistake. So you can have some activities to do during the weekend. All right. So you said letter B. And that is the one. Pretty good job. Multimedia designed. Hmm, what is that? Um, content manager. Okay, everybody, do you agree? Everybody. Yes. And the rest of you? I want to everybody participate. So what do you think? Your classmate says web designer. Do you agree? Mm, no. <laughs> You're not sure? Well, actually, it is. It is for a web designer. And the last mm -hmm. one, web development. Web designer? I web designer. designer. Yes. yes. Pretty good. That's the one. So which of this job would you like to have or which one do you prefer? Would you like to be a web designer or would you like to be a content manager? What do you think?
or if me I, that are if open. I had the skill, <laughs> maybe with this web designer sounds good. Yes, I mm -hmm. And the rest of you guys. Uh huh. Or neither of them. Web designer. Web designer. Actually, yes. that sounds like very attractive, right? Very interesting the way that you can use all those tools. Pretty good. Now, according to this vocabulary, now we are going to read this short conversation. We are going to uh, listen to Samuel and Isabel. Um, they are going through some steps to improve their search engine optimization. And um, let's see what is happening in this conversation. I need two volunteers for reading. Who wants to read? Me too. I want. Oh, let me do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who say me? Give me the names. Elisa. Nelson wants. Or, Elisa. Or I don't know. <laughs> okay. I listen to Elisa and Nelson. Okay. So, guys, this conversation what? Is, in, is in German. <laughs> <laughs> You can Kevin, do it. Kevin, did you lie? Oh my God. Sorry, I, 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 I'm, I confuse Ulysses <laughs> with Nelson. I hate I think... Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Don't worry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so Ulysses and. Me? Nelson. Nelson. <laughs> Okay, Elisa, you will be Samuel. Nelson, you will be Isabel. Go ahead. Okay. The content manager received the list of keywords. Didn't he? The list of keywords? I thought you did, you did it. Didn't you? Actually, I didn't. I will tell him to receive... Revise? The, revise the keywords. The, Keywords before we actually include them in this site. Yes. Uh, we won't have problems later with share engine automation, will we? Yes, it will be very troublesome. I don't know, troublesome later for the specialist. It's good that I asked. You isn't it? Very good. So, what is the name of these kind of questions? Question tags or tag good. questions. And what is the what is the intonation? It's raising or is it falling? It's falling. Falling. It's falling. falling. Very yeah. good. So, in this case, look mm -hmm. at the first one. The content manager revived the list of keywords. What is the pronunciation? Didn't he? Didn't he? Uh huh. Didn't he? Didn't he? Didn't he? Right. Didn't he? Didn't he? It, it's if you feel that it's difficult because again because we speak in Spanish, we always put it up. So try to do the mimic with your hand. That's going to help. Okay. Okay. How about the next one? I thought you did it. Didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you? Didn't you? Okay. Didn't you. That's the one. Didn't you? And the next one. Look, what is the grammar tense here? Well, future. 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 It says we won't have problems later with search engine optimization. Uh huh. Will we? Will we? Will we? Okay. Will we? And the next one, simple present. Uh huh. It's good that I asked you. Isn't it? Ah, uh, isn't it? Okay. Isn't it? So look, we have a full conversation with the question tags. And that is exactly what we are going to continue checking today. Okay. Yesterday, if you remember, we were checking question tags in simple present. So we are going to have some practice about it, and then we are going to practice the question tags, but in the simple past. So let's start. If you remember, guys, what is the most important rule for the question tag? If I have a positive sentence, 
the question tag will be in negative. Negative. Okay. So what I have what about the subject? Do I need to change the subject? No. Yes, mm, yes no. or no? No. Look. No. Not really. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, if the sentence is in negative, the question tag will be in positive. 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 Basically, guys, you just need to switch. Okay? Affirmative, question tag, negative. If the sentence is in negative, question tag in affirmative. That's all. Let's have some practice. I'm going to share with you guys some sentences and you have to decide what will be the best or the correct question tag. For example, look at the first sentence. John works at the new office building downtown. Hmm, so which of these options is the best for the question? The first tag? one doesn't he? Doesn't, doesn't he? he? Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. That is the one. If you see, simple present, affirmative. So the question tag is always in simple present, but in negative. How about the next one? Look at this one. Volunteer for reading, please. Me? Yes, go ahead. Uh, Ankara is the capital city of Turkey. Mm -hmm. What do you think? What will be the correct answer? Isn't, isn't it? it? Isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Isn't it? Perfect. Very good job. Now, again, I will be asking individually. Let me pick someone. Da -da 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 -da. Pamela, go ahead, Pamela. Can you read the next one? Um, Sam and David are studying in the library. Um, aren't they? All right. Yes, pretty good job. If you see, we are talking about day. So in this case, we just add the pronoun and we say, Aren't they? Pretty good. Pamela, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Um, Jose Salvador. Thank you. Salvador, can you read the next one? Your, your pet dog doesn't like to bite people. Mm -hmm. What would be the correct one? Is, is, is it? Is it? Are you sure? No. D does it? Ah, does it? Yes. Yeah. And that is the one. If you see, I have a negative sentence. So the question tag is the opposite. So it's going to be in affirmative. Pretty good job. Pretty good job. Uh, Salvador, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Kevin. Kevin. Go ahead, Kevin. Um, you and I are late for our English class. Uh, mm, mm, uh, <laughs> uh, you and I are late for our English class. Um, aren't we? Are you sure? Yes. Yes, if you see, we are talking in plural, right? So that's why we say, aren't we? Good. Pretty good. Kevin, can you pick someone? Mm, let me check for someone. Uh, Andrea wants to participate. Oh, no, she's a listener. Um, Hosman. All right, Hosman, can you read the number six? Okay, your brother don't know how to speak Chinese. Uh huh. The day. Which one? The day. 
Do they? Are you sure? Yes. Yes, very good. If you see brothers, plural, that's why we say do they. The sentence is in negative. We need the question tag in affirmative. Osman, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Oscar Alexis. Thank you. Oscar, go ahead. Can you read the next one? Of course. You never have eggs and toast for breakfast. And do you? Are you sure? No, no, no. Sorry, sorry. Have you? Are you no, sure? No, no. I'm nervous. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you never have eggs and toast for breakfast. Yes, do you? Yes. 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 Remember, guys, that we are using auxiliaries. In this case, the grammar tense is simple present. What is the auxiliary for simple present? Do. Mm -hmm. If you say, have you, what is the grammar tense? Mm -hmm. Present, perfect, present, present, perfect. <laughs> present, perfect. Exactly. So, very good. Um, um, I I have a question. Why we use do you? It's because the never. That's why we do we use uh, do you. Actually, we use do you because the grammar tense is in simple present. The verb mm -hmm. have is indicating simple present. But but I mean uh, we don't have to use negative when we are talking about positive. That's what I I. I... Ah, look at this one. In this case, I know that in this case, guys, we don't have an auxiliary that says don't, right? Mm -hmm. But never is a negative word. So if you have the word never, automatically the sentence absorb a negative sense, okay? That's why this sentence is considered a negative so the question tag will be in affirmative, okay? Is it clear why we use affirmative in this case, in the question tag? Yes. Yes? yes. Remember, never is a negative word, okay? If you see a sentence with the word never, ah, okay, negative. Next one, Oscar, can you pick one of your classmates, please? Maybe Osman Enrique already participate. Um, no, Osman, go ahead. Number eight. Okay. Excuse me. Your name is Saint Thomas. I think. Uh, are are uh, are you? Okay. Are you sure? Mm. Yes, teacher. Hmm. I, I'm not sure. Okay, not you sure. can look at the verb to be that they are using. Ah, is it? Ah, is it? Is it? yes. So, hmm, your name isn't Thomas, is it? We are using the verb to be is because I'm not because talking about you. Name. I'm talking about the name. The, the name. name. Exactly. Okay. Pretty good. Okay, everyone, I need a volunteer, please, for reading the number nine. Me, teacher. Yes, please. Oh, no, I'm in the in the world classroom again. Okay. <laughs> mm. Aren't I? Aren't. Okay. Aren't I? Yeah, it's a tricky. Yes. The tricky one. <laughs> the tricky one. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> That's the one. Remember, once again, this is the only scenario where we can use the verb aren't with the pronoun I. 
Okay. I don't want you guys that you suddenly say, mm -hmm. I, I, mean. <laughs> I aren't, I aren't uh, in the class. I aren't never. Okay. <laughs> so remember, this is the only scenario where you can use aren't. And I don't want you to listen, Emmons. Emmons, I, mm -mm, it doesn't exist. Very good. Okay, the last one. Volunteer for reading the last one, please. There are about 200 countries in the world. Um, uh -huh. Aren't there? Aren't there? Are you sure? Aren't there? No, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> Doesn't it? Are you sure? No, it isn't there. No, I don't know. <laughs> you already said the three different answers. All right, look um, at this one. We are using are. you are using the verb there are affirmative or negative? Affirmative. So what the rule says, I need it in negative. So I'm using are in there. I'm using are in the there? verb to be. So are you sure? Yes. Yeah. So why did you doubt? <laughs> don't doubt. Because anymore. I don't know. I, I was not sure of because they're there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. But what you have to pay attention is in the verb to be. Remember, if you have the verb to be, automatically you need to recognize that you cannot use the auxiliary. Remember that the verb to be doesn't need the auxiliary. Then okay. you have to check. Ah, the verb to be is are. So I just need the negative form of are, that is aren't. aren't, and that's it, okay? Easy or difficult, everyone? The question tags in simple present. A little difficult. Difficult? <laughs> yeah, we need to be careful, right? When we need to use affirmative, when we used to use the negative form, auxiliary, or the verb to be, okay? Now we are going to have another practice. And after this practice, we are going to see the question tags in a different grammar tenses. I'm going to show you some sentences. You just have to tell me what the question tag is. But I'm going to give you one sentence each one because I want to listen to everyone. Um, the number one will be for Nelson. Then I have Oscar. I have Pamela. Uh, oops, be freedom. Who else? Who else? Du, 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 du. Listener. Okay, caring. And postman. Then I'm going to give the rest. Okay, guys, analyze your sentence and tell me what the correct question tag is with a good intonation, please. Go ahead. Let me know when you're ready. Emma is 20 years old, 20 years old. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Tell me. Uh, your brother knows a lot about computer, uh, doesn't he? Okay. Well, let me write it in lowercase. Doesn't he? Do you agree, everybody? Your yes, brother knows? Yes. Yes, if you see, I have affirmative, so I need I use auxiliary. Exactly, in negative form. Next one, who's ready? Me? Yes, go ahead. Emma is 20 years old. Isn't she? Do you agree, everybody? Isn't she? Totally. totally, totally. Yes, look easy, guys. Absolutely. You have is, you just need. The negative form, isn't she? isn't she? Pretty good. Who's next? Okay, Oscar, go ahead. I am late. Are I'm sorry, can you repeat? I am late, aren't I? Ah, yes. what do you think, guys? It's a tricky guys? one. It's <laughs> yes. okay. It's a tricky one. Yes, pretty good <laughs> job. Very good job. Now, I like that you don't forget it. I love it. Very good. Next one. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Andrew doesn't drink coffee. Do he? 
Do he? Are you sure? Doesn't he? Doesn't? Does. But it's already does. in doesn't. Does he? Ah. Does he? Remember, guys, you have the auxiliary doesn't. Yeah. So you just need to say in affirmative, and we say does, does, does. he? Okay. Andrew doesn't drink coffee. Does he? Pretty good. Who's next? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Um, they don't get up early, do they? Very good. Do they? Excellent. Sifrido? I have a thought about I think so. Is, is it? Is it? Yeah. Mm, what do you think, guys? It's, it's okay. Mm. Our teacher isn't in the classroom. Can I use it um, with teacher? Is, is he? Is she? In this case, we don't know, right, if we are talking about she or he. Mm. So you we can don't know use... his pronouns. <laughs> exactly, but you can use both. So you can say, is he or is she? But remember that it, it's more for objects or animals, okay? But pretty good. Now let's continue. I have more sentences. Let me ask. Now it's for uh, Salvador, Eulise. Let's see. Listener, listener. And those are the ones, the other ones that are listening. Oh, I have the other Kevin. Teacher, give me a favor. Yes. Uh, can you show us a uh, sentence number one to six? Oh, sure. No problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Finish? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, Thank perfect. You. Okay. Continue, please. Uh, who's missing? I think that... Osman, did I give you a sentence? No, right? No. Not okay. Sure. I will give you now. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know who else. I think that I gave sentences to everyone already. Uh, because the rest are listeners. Okay. So we have Salvador, Ulise. Kevin, Alfredo, and Osman. Let me know when you're and, ready, guys. And ready, teacher. Excellent. Go ahead. Uh, number 10, they are from England. Uh, are they? All right. They are from England. Are they? Everybody, do you agree? Yes, absolutely. Totally. Very good job. Who's next? Me, teacher. Number nine. Okay. We sing well, aren't we? Aren't we? Are you sure? So look, do I have the verb to be in this sentence? Oh, no. Uh, no. Hmm. So if we don't have the verb to simple be... Simple present. It's simple present. So, Alfredo, try again. Mm. Negative, right? Exactly. Mm. Didn't we? Don't we? Ah, didn't or don't? Don't. Yes, because it's simple present. Okay. In this case, guys, that is something that you have to be careful with. If you don't have the verb to be, mm, that means that you have another verb, so you need the auxiliary. We sing well, don't we? Okay, pretty good. Next ready, one. ready, teacher. Go ahead. In often rains in the afternoon, uh, isn't it? Okay, isn't it? It often rains in autumn. Do I have the verb to be here? Mm, yes. Where? Because it. It is the pronoun, but actually the verb is. Um, rain. Doesn't it? Ah, that is yes. the one. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it often rains in autumn, doesn't it? Okay. Remember, if you don't have the verb to be, you need the auxiliary. Okay, next, Salvador, you ready? Yes. Go ahead. Yo 
and Liam are interested in size. Are are we? Are we? Are you sure? Or are they? Okay. Are they? Are you sure? Okay. Look, the, the pronoun is correct because remember that in this case, I'm talking about John and Liam, right? So I'm talking about they. But look, I have the verb to be in affirmative. So the tag question should be um, in... Uh-huh. Aren't. Yes, that's the one. Remember, the question tag is always the opposite, okay? So if you have affirmative, the question tag is in negative. Are interested in science, aren't they? Okay, that's it. Any questions so far, everybody, about the question tag? Questions? No. Are you no. sure? Yes. All right. Those are the question tags in simple present. Now let's see the question tags, but in simple past. Look, the rule is exactly the same. The only things that is going to be different is the auxiliary and the past form of the verb to be. Look at the first sentence. It says, you were at home last night. So if I have were here, what is the question tag? Weren't you? Weren't. Uh -huh. We have affirmative. We change it into negative. Weren't you? If I'm talking in third person, it was a sunny day. Negative form? Wasn't it? It was. Mm -hmm. Easy. The rule is the same. The only things that I'm changing is the verb. Now I'm using the verb in past. And what is the auxiliary that I use in simple past? Was or did. Okay, the did. auxiliary. Did. Yes. So imagine that I say, we traveled to Japan. Do I have the verb to be in this sentence? No. Mm, traveled, the pronunciation? Traveled. Yes, it's in the, the verse is in past simple. Exactly. So I simple need plus. the auxiliary, <laughs> right? What is the auxiliary? Did. Didn't. We traveled to Japan. Didn't we? So look at the rule. Affirmative. So the question tag is in negative. You can change the subject. He went to the party. What is the question tag? Look. Didn't he? Didn't he? So the only difference between the question tags in simple present and in simple past is the auxiliary. The auxiliary in simple past is didn't. The verb to be in past is wasn't or weren't. Got it? Is it clear? Yes. Yes. All right. Now, as I mentioned, the rule is the same. So that means that if I have a sentence in negative, again, the question tag is in positive. For example, you weren't at home last night. If I'm using weren't, what is the affirmative form of weren't? Where, where. Where. So we are going to say, what is the intonation? Where do? Were you, right? You weren't at home last night. Were you? Okay. If we change, look, it wasn't a sunny day. Intonation? Was it? Was, was it? it? Okay. Was it? And it's the same with the auxiliary. 
Now pay attention here. If I have the auxiliary negative, I just need to transform the auxiliary in affirmative. We didn't travel to Japan, did we? Or he didn't go to the party, did he? So remember, the rules are the same. If it is in negative, okay, the question tag is in positive. Is it clear, everyone? Yes? Any sure. question? Uh-huh. I have the question. Go ahead. What uh, would, would be the, the means uh, when I say, you weren't at home last night, were you? What's the specific uh, mean uh, were you? Ah, okay, if you, want, if you want to translate this one, it will be like when you say, o oh, si, like, no estuviste en casa anoche, o oh, si, mm, right? Okay. Yeah, that will be like the translation for us in Spanish. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. You're welcome. Any other question, everyone? Is it clear? You don't have questions, do you? No, we don't. <laughs> Good, excellent. Okay, if you don't have questions, I do, I do have questions. I have some sentences and you had to tell me the correct question tag. Now the sentences are in simple past. So please be careful with the auxiliary or the verb to be. So look at the first one. If I say Daniel was busy last week, I'm using the verb to be, so. Wasn't he? Ah, very good. I have verb to be in past, affirmative. So it will be negative. Exactly. Doesn't, mm -hmm. I'm sorry, wasn't he? Daniel was busy last week. Wasn't he? Okay. Now, again, I will give you some sentences, each one. Uh, okay, we'll start with Kevin. Then we have Eulise. Who else, who else? Salvador. Nelson. Postman. <laughs> Nelson wants to participate, of course. <laughs> Definitely. <Okay. laughs> Pretty good. And let's see, let me give someone else. And Oscar, of course. Okay, guys, analyze your sentence. Let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Uh, we didn't turn off the lights, uh, did we? Intonation? Did we? Did we? Very good. Yeah. So look, negative. I just need to transform it into affirmative. Pretty good job. Next one. Who's ready? Uh, me. Go ahead. You were at home yesterday, uh, weren't you? Very good. So look. Affirmative, the question tag is the opposite. Negative form, pretty good. Who's next? Me. Go ahead. Uh, she didn't call call you yesterday. Uh, did she? Intonation. Did she? That's the one, very good. So again, negative, affirmative. Who's next? Me teacher. Go ahead. Matthew invites you to the party, didn't he? Okay, so Matthew invited you to the party, didn't he? Pretty good. Salvador or Oscar, who's next? Sure. Go ahead. The shop wasn't closed, was, was it? Very good, that's correct, excellent. Oscar? They were on holiday. Weren't you? No, weren't they? Weren't they? Pretty good. Easy, a piece of cake. Yes or no? Yes. 
Good, good, good. Let me give the rest. Okay, we have Oscar, then we have, um, oops, we have Osman, we have Pamela, um, we have Sifrido, and Kevin. Kevin. Kevin, yes. Kevin Alfredo is missing anyone? I'm here, teacher. All right, pretty good. Okay, let me know when you're ready. You ready, teacher? I'm sorry, you ready? I think so. Okay, go ahead. Okay, we saw Chris last week. Uh, didn't we? Okay, very good. If you see, I have affirmative, so I just need the auxiliary in negative. Pretty good. Uh huh. Who's next? Me, teacher. Go ahead. Amelia wasn't in Italy, was she? Pretty good. That's the one. Who's next? Go ahead. You, you didn't keep your promise, did you? Very good. Did you? Excellent. Kevin? Mm, weren't they? Okay, but read the full sentence, please. Kevin and Josh were the best friends, weren't they? Very good. That's the one. What a coincidence. <laughs> Kevin, reading about <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Sounds good. So, if you see, guys, it's Pretty simple, the rule is exactly the same. And we can use question tags in all the grammar tenses, in future, in past, in present, in the past perfect, in any kind of grammar tense. And actually, we can also use it with some auxiliaries. For example, imagine that I have uh, another model. Uh, imagine that I have the model can and I say, hey, you can speak English. What will be the question tag? Uh -huh. Can you? Very good. Can you? All right. So I have a model can. What is the negative form of can? Can't. All right. So we can follow this structure in all the grammar tenses and with all kind of models. It's exactly the same rule, okay? Any questions so far, everybody, about this topic? This is the moment, questions? Okay, I assume that you don't have questions. If you don't have questions, well, it's time to speak. We are going to have speaking practice, everybody. I want to everybody try to participate, please. We are going to have a role play. Do you know the meaning for gossip? Yes, uh, chambe. <laughs> ah, do you like the gossip, guys? Mm, a little bit, yes. <laughs> As some of you say, yes, look. Okay, so that is exactly what we are going to do right now, okay? We are going to have a conversation with our classmates using the question tags to confirm information. Imagine, guys, that uh, you see your friend for the first time in a month, okay? Your classmates will be your friends. You haven't seen them for a month. So you have a lot of things to talk, okay? So talk about your lives, everyone, okay? Try to discover <laughs> some new gossips, okay? And try to use question tags in simple present or also in simple past. So for example, you can say, hello, Pamela, it's nice to see you. you Cut your hair, didn't you? Uh -huh. Pamela, what would you say? 
Is Pamela better? I'm not sure. All right, imagine that I continue and I say, hello, Ulise, how are you? Um, pretty good. Ulise, you got married, didn't you? Mm, no, I have said. <laughs> so you just you just have to try to continue uh, the conversation, everyone. Remember, in this moment is a fake conversation, so you can invent and you can say, "Ah, uh, yes, I did. I got married, but I already got divorced." Or I don't know. You can invent. Okay. What I need is that you use the question tags important and this is um a mistake that i was listening yesterday yesterday i was listening that you asked question and you said like do you live in san salvador uh, don't you hmm what do you think is this correct what do you think do you live in san salvador don't you is it correct? Yes. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Because in this case, guys, I have the auxiliary at the beginning. That means that this is a question. And what is the characteristic of the question tags that I have? Statements. Exactly, not questions. So you need to say a statement and then the question tag. So, hey, you live in San Salvador, don't you? Okay, so you have to say statement, not questions. Got it, everyone? Yes? I got it, teacher. Okay, and the rest of you, is it clear? The activity? Yes, teacher. Very good. Remember, you can invent. Let's pretend that uh, your classmates are good friends that you haven't seen it. Invent the details. You can say, hey, you were in the United States, weren't you? And your classmate will answer like, yes, I was, or no, I wasn't. Why or you can say, I'm sorry? Not sure. <laughs> All right. Okay, but invent the information. Okay, invent. The point here is to talk. Now, because we are few in the class today, and I have some listeners, we are going to be working in teams. Um, if you are in a team where your classmates are not talking, let me know so I can switch you to another team. But please, the ones that are here enter to the breakout rooms and try to participate, okay? Let's go to work, everybody. I already sent the scenarios on a WhatsApp group. So let's go to work. Hi, teacher. Welcome to our room. <laughs> Thank you. Kevin. What Kevin. happens is I like gossips. That's why. Yes. <laughs> Kevin, so, you are you are yes. uh, you are you are at the home, aren't you? Yes, I am at the home. <laughs> okay. Uh, did you hear about Melissa? <laughs> okay. She's about to get married. Married. Uh, she but she was um with uh the last month with another boyfriend, doesn't she? <laughs> oh, wasn't mm, she? That's wasn't the she? one. That's the one. Remember, you are using the verb to be. Continue. Yes, yes, yes. Continue with the conversation, man. Imagine that you are talking about that girl, Melissa. I don't know who's, uh, <laughs> I don't know her, but invent. 
No problem. Yeah, it's it's my friend, but it, the situation is not real. It's, I'm just inventing it. <laughs> okay, Kevin. Uh, go ahead. Can you repeat the... the, the I said that uh, if you know that she's about to get married but with someone, but she, um, she broke with uh, her last boyfriend like one month ago, um, but she's supposed to be happy, wasn't she? Uh, I, I get a, a little uh, uh, idea. Um, Sorry. Okay. Just let me uh, uh, reduce my 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 phrase. Um, she was not a uh, single the last month, uh, wasn't she? <laughs> uh, she. Sorry, can you repeat? Sorry, sorry, can you repeat? Um, uh, Please repeat. Uh, um, more slow, more slow. She wasn't. She was single the last month, wasn't she? Uh, I I got it. Uh, you are talking about me or other? I am person? talking about a, a girl. A girl. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I understand. Imagine, the imagine that that he is talking about Melissa. Melissa Osman is Kevin's friend, but also she is your friend. Mm. So this is un chambre de Melissa. Okay. Right? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I I I didn't know. I didn't know. Uh -huh. I didn't know that. <laughs> So continuous man, tell us something about Melissa. What do you know about yeah. her? Uh, share, share us uh, good information, please. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, do you, mm, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, or you can change the topic. Continue sharing information. <laughs> yeah, can... just, let's just practice some. Some phrases that okay. use question tags doesn't have to be a topic, a specific topic. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and Kevin, uh, yes. You know if Melissa live uh, live in San Salvador. Uh, isn't she? Isn't she? Mm. We are not mm. using the verb to be. Melissa lives. Melissa lives in San Doesn't Salvador. She? Uh -huh. yes. She? yes, she lives in San Salvador. Ah, okay, I understand. And her, uh, and her boyfriend lives in Santana. Uh, they are very far. For this reason, I think they broke him. <laughs> oh my God. Wow. And you know what, so, guys? But I don't know, but Melissa is pregnant, isn't she? Oh, my God. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, she, she's, that's me. she's waiting for a baby. Wow. Yeah. I can't believe it. Okay. <laughs> I knew it. That's why she engaged with that boy too quickly. But he is not the father, is he? Oh my god, wow, he's hot. He's he he? I don't know, you tell me, he's not the father, is he? Yeah. Hmm, is I another friend told me that the father was uh, her his best, best friend, the best friend of that boy. My gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good. Continue. You got the idea, guys. You are doing great. Continue. Please. Okay, okay, teacher. <laughs> you are good at gossiping. I love it. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> or, or, on the small. On, yes. or... If I had to go out, I go out. I can go to work in here in my home. Yes, if I need to go. I go out, maybe to uh, to buy something for for eating. 
Okay. Uh, I thinking uh, now I'm thinking about you uh, how how long uh, do you work on on, the, on do you work at oh, at job around uh, 12 hours or two or eight hours uh, don't you? In my case, I work eight hours every eight day. Eight hours, only yes. eight hours. Yes, I'm a mechanic. I you have are. You are. And yes, a mechanic of cars. Okay, as well. Um, you you, as you well. do? Yes, I will. Yes, that's nice. Yes, but um, do you? Do you no? Are you uh, a mechanic uh, of about the car or about the other of... vehicles? Vehicles what? like cars, vehicles. Ah, okay. Cars, uh, motorcycles, trucks. No, but in Is my it... case, I only work with cars. Are you are you serious? Yes, you do. You work with trucks or, or something like that. No, um, I am. I'm mechanic in a specific, uh, con a specific uh. How do you say fabrica? Oh. General company? mechanic company or factory company company. Oh yes uh generally a mechanic generally about the about the uh, fabric i don't know i don't remember no i don't know the, the word in neither you can say just okay. factory factory yes a factory because uh i don't uh no no i don't let me see. Let me think. Uh, I don't. Uh, rip, I don't fix the motorcycle or about the car. No, uh, uh -huh. that's not a fix. Ah. Something like that. <laughs> but I get you. I get okay. you. Okay. Okay. You <laughs> you get the picture. See, so you don't work with so you don't work with cars, don't you? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. okay. Okay, but that sentence is in negative. So you say you don't work. Ah with... yes, yes, do you? <laughs> that's the one. That's the one. Yes, exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Uh continue. So you uh, so you work. So your work is harder than me, I think, don't you? No. So your your work is harder than me, aren't you? Aren't it? No. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> okay. Um. Probably. Uh. My work is more hard. But you don't. You don't work like a torno. Yes, you're like a toy. But yes, question is similar. Sad. Question <laughs> sorry, sad. Sorry, you are like a I'm torn. getting curious. Aren't you? Or <laughs> finish the well, How do you say that. torno, teacher? I don't know what torno is. I don't know what is that. <laughs> torno is where where fabricate the pieces of 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 anything, right? Yes, create, create. Uh, they create. Uh huh. Pieces. Create engines uh, yes uh but the <sighs> tell me how do you say fabrica because i forgot that. factory factory okay factory uh okay. the factory create uh the factory has torn as well because uh and the factory there are uh, a lot of um how do you say 
taller teacher. Therapy. Workshop. Yes. Workshop. Yeah. They are Workshop. the factory there they has uh, a lot of workshops. Okay, something like that. Workshops that work with, with your factory. Yes. Okay, okay, that's nice. That's uh -huh. really nice. Yes. Okay. What's the name of your factory, your company? Maybe I know it. Mm, Texufil. Ah, so I yeah. know <laughs> oh, we are in different areas. We're, yes. We're in so different areas today. Yes, yes. It's, it's, there, there are a lot of problems about the about the machine and I uh, I have to see uh around 40 40 uh machine during the day 40 machines during yes. the day there's a lot yeah. yes it, that's why I have to thinking about the problem about the different machine Yes, so your work is so so harder than me. Yes, <laughs> than yeah. mine. And <laughs> also, I have to, uh, have to work two uh, twelve hours. Wow. Every day. So much. But uh, I, I from... think, I think uh, you get a, a better, a better payment, mm. don't you? That's good. Uh, <laughs> yes, you're right. Uh around uh five hundred. Five hundred extra. Five hundred and maximum uh six hundred. But not not per hour. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, uh, it's a by, good uh by day, I, I think. Uh no. It's, um per month. For each uh, each weeks, I they That's pay so me around uh one no one hundred okay time's up we are going to wait for everyone to go back to the main room Time stop, time stop, everyone. We are going to wait for your classmates. All right, all right. Time's up, time's up. How was the practice? Easy? Difficult? Some, some confused for me, teacher. <laughs> Is it confusing to use the question tag? Mm, a, a few, a few, a few, a little. I know, I know, 50-50, yes. Look, guys, what happens is, the purpose of using question tags is in order to sound more natural, okay? So this is exactly the same that we use it in Spanish. Do we use question tags in Spanish? What do you think? All the time. Yes, exactly. all the time. What happens is that we don't realize about it, right? Ni nos damos cuenta that we are saying, so those kind of questions include the question tags. We use it in Spanish every day. I want you guys to try to identify the question tags that you use tomorrow, okay? When you are talking, try to identify if you are mm. using question tags. I know that in English, of course, it's complicated, it is difficult. Now, you already know the structure. The challenge is now you need to try to apply it in a conversation, okay? I was listening to some conversations 
Some of your classmates were using a lot the question tags. Some others, we need to try to practice a little bit more, okay? But no worries, because next week we will continue practicing, okay? Don't worry about it. Now, do you have any questions so far about the question tags? No. No? You sure? Okay. Now, we already practiced some speaking. It's time to practice listening, okay? You ready for a listening practice? Yes? Yes. Yes. All right. Look at this Sorry. one. This listening practice is going to be more like a dictation, okay? I'm going to play an audio and you have to listen to a conversation. And you just have to write five questions, okay? They will have a conversation. You just have to write the five questions that you listened. Those questions are not question tags. Those questions are simple questions, right? So listen to the conversation and write the conversations that you hear. Got it? Understood? You ready? Keep your notebooks ready. Pay attention to the conversation and write the questions that you listen. Uh, I think that this is not the one. Give me a second. Okay, this is the one. Okay, pay attention, please. Write the questions. One, where do you want to go for dinner? I fancy a pizza. Two. What time does the Italian restaurant open on Sundays? I'm not sure. Six o'clock, I think. Three. Have you tried the new Chinese restaurant? No, I haven't. I'm not a big fan of Chinese food. Four. Is it still raining heavily? No, it isn't. It's much lighter now. Five. Will your brother give us a lift into town? Yes, he might. He usually does. Did you copy the questions? Can you repeat it again, please? Absolutely. I miss a few. <laughs> okay, no worries. I'm going to play it again. Remember, I just want you to write the questions that you listen, okay? One more time. Microphone soft, please. Here we go. One. Where do you want to go for dinner? I fancy a pizza. Two. What time does the Italian restaurant open on Sundays? I'm not sure. Six o'clock, I think. Three. Have you tried the new Chinese restaurant? No, I haven't. I'm not a big fan of Chinese food. Four. Is it still raining heavily? No, it isn't. It's much lighter now. Five. Will your brother give us a lift into town? Yes, he might. He usually does. How many questions did you copy? Two. Two, and the rest of you? Two and complete. All right, let's do something. I'm going to help you. I'm going to play the audio and I'm going to pause it so you can have the time to write it, okay? Pay attention, here we go. One, where do you want to go for dinner? I fancy a pizza. Two. What time does the Italian restaurant open on Sundays? I'm not sure. Six o'clock, I think. Three. Have you tried the new Chinese restaurant? No, I I 
haven't. I'm not a big fan of Chinese food. Four. Is it still raining heavily? No. It isn't. It's much lighter now. Five. Will your brother give us a lift into town? Yes. Yeah. Yes, he might. He usually does. Okay, everyone. Could you copy some of the questions? Yes. What was the number one? What was the first question? Um, where do you, where want, do to you want to go for dinner? Okay. Where do you, oops, oops, oops. Do you want to go for dinner? What was the next question? What time does the Italian restaurant open on Sundays? Okay, do you agree, everyone? What uh, time does... See, yeah, sorry. What time does the Italian restaurant open, open on, on Sunday. Sunday? Question number three, what do you listen to? Right, new Chinese restaurant. Ah, have you tried what kind of restaurant? New Chinese, Chinese. Restaurant. very good. The new Chinese restaurant. What is the next one? Mm -hmm. Is it still raining heavenly? I I don't sure about the last word. Okay, is it still raining? Uh huh. When <laughs> it is rainy, very strong. Heavy. <laughs> yes. So heavily. Okay, like heavily, very strong. Um... And the last one. Will your brother give us a lift into town? All right. Will your brother oops, 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 give us a, a, a lift into town? Okay. So how many correct questions did you copy? Four. <laughs> Four. Okay. Now it's time to practice reported speech. In the number oh one, what did she ask in the number one? Where do you want to go for dinner? Can you repeat? She asked. Uh, she asked where did, no. Where did. Do I need the auxiliary in the reported speech? I don't know where I forgot it. He asked. Where? He asked where. Where? When? Where she? Where she when? wanted to go for dinner. Where, where she wanted to go for dinner. What do you think, guys? Do you agree? Yes. I think one of the pronouns must be he. <laughs> okay, if I'm using you, the question is for you. Hey, where do you want to go for dinner? Where so, I want to. Ah. I want to. What is the pronoun that I need here? I. Where exactly. I. Exactly. Very want. good. Where I wanted to go for dinner. Pretty good. Number two. What time does the Italian restaurants open on Sunday? What did she ask? She asked 
What? Mm -hmm. What time did you do? What time did you do? Do you eat do, I, do I need the auxiliary? No. Open. What time? Italian restaurant on open. That's it. What open. time the Italian restaurants open, open or open? Open. Open. Mm -hmm. That's it. Very good. I can see that you haven't forgotten the reported speech. Number three, um, the last one because of the time. Have you tried? If I'm talking in the present perfect, do you remember in which grammar tense do I need to report it? Past perfect. Okay. So what did she ask? And we finished with this sentence. She asked. Mm, she um, asked. It's a just no question, if I, if guys. I, if, if if uh -huh. I had if I had tried the new Chinese restaurant. That is the one. Very good. Okay, listen, we don't have more time, but uh, during the next classes, guys, I will try to take at least some minutes in order to review the report of the speech. Okay. I don't want you to forget that topic. I know that is difficult, but we need to try. So be ready for the next classes. Maybe I can keep some minutes in order to practice that. Now, because it's Friday, I know that you might be tired tonight. I'm not going to take a, a winner, okay? I will let you go to everyone to go to sleep, okay? Do you have any questions before leaving everyone? No. No questions? No for now. Excellent. Okay. Thank you so much for the effort, guys, to be connected in the class. Got to sleep. Have a wonderful weekend and see you on Monday. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Thank you. Take Good care. Night.